Has the market hit a wall? You're about to find out. Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in. My name is Robert Mack with Five Realty and today I want to talk to you about the market and has it hit a wall? What am I talking about? Well, a lot of buyers out there are thinking that the market's going to crash, that it's going to blow up, that prices are going to fall. And the truth is, is although we're seeing a completely new market compared to the last year, I'm not sure if crash is the appropriate word. We're definitely seeing the market change. We're definitely seeing numbers correcting. And depending on the area that you're looking, some areas are still thriving. Some areas have flattened out and some areas are falling. So why is this all happening? Let's talk about the numbers. Check out this slide showing you the interest rates since the beginning of the year in January. In January, the rates were just above 3%. And then you'll notice that around mid-March, the rates go to 4% slowly over time. And then over the next six to eight weeks, rates literally doubled. So just for frame of reference, every time the interest rate goes up by 1%, the value of the home must fall 10 to 11% for the monthly payment to be the same. So with rates basically going up by 3% at their all time low, home values have to fall 33% for the monthly payment to be the same. So you can see why it's really hard for buyers to be able to afford the types of homes they want to buy because they're basically their affordability has fallen by almost 33%. So that has been a major contributor to the market basically hitting a wall and slowing down. Now, the next slide I'm going to show you is Orange County active inventory year over year. Now, this is a pretty incredible slide. Let's talk about this a little bit. The orange line is this year. You will see that in the beginning of the year, we had 1000 homes available for sale, literally an inventory crisis. Now, if you look at the peak of this year, which was back in August, we had 4000 homes available for sale. That's a 400% increase since our all time low back in January. Do you think that had something to do with the rates? Absolutely. The affordability shot up and so homes started taking longer to sell and inventory started to grow. But here's where it gets very interesting. If you look at the purple line, that is 2019. In 2019, we had 7,600 homes available for sale during the peak time of the year which was in August, and that was almost double the amount of homes we have now. So although we have 400% more homes now than we did in the beginning of the year, we're still 50% lower than we were in 2019, and 2019 was a low inventory year. So when you're talking about supply and demand, we're still in a seller's market. But what supply and demand isn't considering is the buyer emotion. Right now, buyers are experiencing what we call buyer fatigue. Buyers got beaten up last year. They were paying 20% over asking price. So right now, it seems like buyers are trying to get some payback, which is why homes are taking significantly longer to sell. The second to last slide I'm gonna throw up here is the Orange County expected market time. Now this graph is a little bit busy and a little bit con confusing, but you will see here the orange line is 2022, and you will see that we basically the days on market was continuing to rise and we almost hit about 80 days on the market. Now in the, in the recent months, we've seen the uh, expect, expected market time to fall to about 61 days on average. But the bottom line is, is homes were selling in three, four, five days. I believe the average days on market in last year was like 11 days on the market. And now we're seeing 40 days on the market, 60 days on the market, 100 days on the market. It all depends on the price point. So the last slide I'm going to show you guys is how long homes are basically taking to sell right now. And that's what this entire market update is all about. When we're meeting with sellers, they know the interest rates have gone up. They know inventory has gone up. They know buyer confidence has fallen. They know affordability has gone up. What matters to them the most? How much money can I get? And how long will it take me to get it? So the market value is the market value. Pricing a home to sell right now is a very, very delicate process. You want to make sure that you're preparing the home to sell to show like a model home. You want to make sure you price it low enough to attract as many buyers as possible that are looking, but you also want to make sure you price it high enough to make sure that if you only get one offer, that offer is going to be close to what you want to sell for. 
That said, we're talking about how long it's gonna take our clients to close the deal. Is it gonna be 10 days? Is it gonna be 20 days? Is it gonna be 30 days? Check out this slide. This slide here is the how long are homes sitting on the market? You will see that homes that are priced at 750 or lower are selling in about 43 days. 750 to a million, 54 days, and so on and so forth. The higher priced properties are going for as much as 200 plus days on the market for homes that are 4 million or higher. But the bottom line is, is homes are taking three, four, five times longer to sell than they were selling last year. So what's the message for all the buyers out there? It costs a little bit more these days to buy a property because the rates are higher, but you've got tons of options when it comes to homes and you have tons of negotiating leverage to be able to get the home for the price you want and maybe even get some seller concessions to buy down those higher interest rates. But the bottom line is you also have time to think about it. So it's a very different market for buyers this year versus last year. The one caveat is higher interest rates. Now, if you're a seller, what is going on? Sellers, I just told you the, the magic pill right there. Price your home attractively. Make sure you price it high enough to where if you only get one offer, you feel good about it. Home prep is super important. But where you really need to change your mindset is, is how long it's going to take for you to sell your home. The days of selling in seven days or less are gone. So if it has to take 40, 50, 60, 100 days to get your home sold, that's what you need to start ex expecting when it comes to those expectations. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you found value in this video and you found it on social media, show me some social media love. Share it, like it, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. If you have any video ideas you want me to talk about in the future, send those my way. And if you have any questions for me whatsoever, send me a message. Till next time, happy selling.